And the next thing we'll do, when the balls are set up, we'll stand up, shake hands, and may the best man win. And I wouldn't like to pick which one. Thank you. The final frame, Ding Junhui to break. Ding Junhui gets frame 19 underway. It's been pure theatre and the drama of the last frame decider still to come. And the first time for four or five frames that the black hasn't been tied up from the break, so the way these two guys are break building, you'd suggest whoever gets in first is going to score heavily because that's what they've been doing all match. Jimbo. Well, touching ball, he should have made a better effort to at least cover the main bunch than that. can get through to this red that's in the loose, but there's no value in that. If you played the pot, you can into the red and the black. But every shot now, there's a little bit of pressure on it. Straightforward safety normally. Oh, look at those six loose reds now, black available in both pockets. The safety now is of paramount importance. One bad safety could be the end. Well, the red on the left-hand side of the table, that one is a possibility of a pot. It's a dangerous one, because if he was to miss it, he could leave other reds. But that red also comes into play with any safety shot. He can't play safe down the right-hand side of the table, down the left-hand side of the table, so he's taking this on. This is massive. Now, where's the red running to? It's not safe. Well, it's the same long pot into the same pocket, but the one difference is this is a lot easier as far as he's bound to be able to get a good white where Ding Zhong Wei wasn't bound to get a good white. Screw back for blue or bought colour. If it goes in, it's a great chance. Oh, don't let this match finish on a fluke. <laughs> Ding Zhong Wei has the first chance. Spoke is a true neutral, I mean, you're right. I mean, it'd be a shame if it was one on a fluke. It really would. He's played the pot, he's missed it. But didn't it, for all the world, look as though it was going to drop in again on the second attempt? One. He could have played for the black, but didn't want to risk it. He's not inch perfect on the blue by any means. But if he can pot this blue, get nicely on the next red, I think the black is available into both corner pockets, as you alluded to before. And there's enough loose reds about. This is a, a reasonable chance to build up a sizable lead in this all-important frame. on the red. Six. First chance to ding John Wee. Well, I'm not saying he's bound to win the frame here, but it's hard to see him not getting at least 40 from here, isn't it? And in any frame, that's a good lead. In the decider, could be too big. The next five reds, five blacks, you would think are almost a certainty. 
Seven. Will he be able to continue after 48? Didn't get into that as he would have liked, and that's a poor positional Poison. shot. Those five reds, five blacks don't look a formality now, will he? Just didn't get enough action on the cue ball. It's very jabby, John, wasn't it? He's usually very, very good at uh, that little screw back shot, and he almost tried to get his hand out of the way before it hit it and didn't complete the stroke, and that's why a little bit of lack of pace. There is a gap in between the, the reds if he wants to play for the black, but surely that would be too difficult. Well, the gap he's played. Can't believe it. It's too difficult. Why not screw for the blue, my friend? Well, the one thing, of course, we don't take into account is the, the pressure that's on the situation. And he could have played it firmer, and maybe tried to cannon into the res just below the pink, but you can see his disappointment. But it wasn't that shot, it was the shot previous. Off the black, he should have got better position on the red. Fifteen. This was Ding Zhong Wei's shot that John said this was the poor shot. This is a little bit of movement here. He seemed to get his, try to get his cue back and forward very, very quickly. Normally he goes really nicely smooth through that kind of shot. And that's the reason, there's what Hawkeye shows what he's trying to do. And it was a very easy shot. But he got very, very quick. It was almost before he got the cue back to where he wanted it to be, Johnny almost tried to let it go again. Well, he's played a few of them, Marco, and he's played them pretty well. OK, he got that a little bit too thick. He may be saved by the blue. He was after a thinner contact, but everyone he's played this evening, he's... He's played it pretty well. I think the red that's loose from the cluster will cut into the right corner, but it's a thin one. Let's have having a look at see if he's touching the yellow. Well, in the end, he didn't play the pot. <laughs> played the safety, and it's a good one. And the flip on the ground has helped. <laughs> There's no problem with hitting the edge of the pack, but not only is it well, he's looking at the plant, but. I don't know how he can miss the kiss on the red on the right-hand side if he plays the plank, because he's going to have to hit it slightly thicker, which means the cue ball is going to throw wider. Well, there's not a lot of room between those two reds. I don't think he can make the plant here. Well, maybe he can, because I'm just thinking, after it, the first red thick, very hard to, to know he's, if he can get enough of the first red. I think it's key to miss that red on the right-hand side on the way back with the cue ball, John, don't you? Get a good white, whatever happens. Oh, absolutely. And that's what he did. He made sure the white... Good shot. Yes, I think it would be paramount in Marco's mind now that he can't afford to let Ding Junhui in again. That could cost him frame and match. So there's pressure on these safety shots. But that applies to both players. Good reply. Now, depending on what angle he has on this long red, he may decide to take this in, because if he finishes on the black, he's not leaving anything in the middle, and I think he might take it on. I'll put it this way, Dings and Wee would play the slow pot. Marco is a different animal, of course. He may think it's too risky. I always think with these shots, you have a look at the safety, you have a look at the pot, 
There's no easy safety, so I'm with you, Willie. I think you'll take this on. It's a big shot and a big moment in the match. Yeah, if he plays it, even if he misses it, as long as the cue ball comes on and off the cushion, he's not playing it, I don't think. Or maybe he is. Yes, he is playing it. As long as the cue ball comes on and off the cushion about seven or eight inches, he's not leaving anything easy. Now the cue ball, seven or eight inches. Worth the value, wasn't it? The value of taking it on. Well, it was so close. I think they give him a great chance. He's left a, a few possibilities. I think there's a possibility of the red just above the pink. I think Dean Jung Wee can be on that red for the left middle. You know, he's not going to turn down anything that looks like he can pop. So that shot from Marco was never absolutely a shot for nothing, but it was worth it because the value was there if it had gone in. He's taking it on. And he's got it. One. So this is his second opportunity to build up the points. But he'll be feeling it. There's a lot of tension out there. You can just sense it. And it's only a first round match. It's only for a place in the second round, but it's to and fro this match. And to keep your hopes alive of winning the World Championship. Six. The occasion. I can assure you, he's on the red to the right corner, but he's not perfect. If he was straight on it, and he could just stun it in and play for the black, he'd have played it by now. Didn't like Seven. it, did it? Oh, well, that's the result. Now he puts his hand up and apologises. He looked as though he was going to be on nothing. He's got a double kiss off the red and it sprung it for position on the black. Mm, this black's no give me, is it? Played it really well. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't like... Running the ball coming into the final frame, but you What's rightly it? say, John, the double kiss, he was on nothing. Any sort of lead in the last frame is big, John, isn't it? How big will the lead be after this visit? Fifteen. Through that one, okay, didn't he? Remember the last time he played that kind of shot? He didn't get into it and finish short. These are tricky. Yeah, I was just thinking that myself because the the way to play it to get automatic position into on the black is to just drop it in dead weight, but you're using the rest. Just got to cue it smooth. He didn't want to drop it in dead weight, and that extra bit of pace caused him to miss the red. It's all well and good on the practice tables, you just float them in, but heat of battle, it was missable. Thank you. 
Right, the pot's on. But the angle the cue ball is taking, keep an eye on the left-hand side red that's near the cushion. He's going to be very close to that. If he'd have potted it, he'd have kissed the red. That was a dangerous attempt at a pot. Well, I think if he'd have potted it, he wouldn't have minded the kiss, but I know what you're saying, Willie. Just a little bit thicker, and he'd have caught the red. Anyway, he didn't. Marco, like all players in these situations in the deciding frame, you're just desperate to get an opportunity, to get a chance, just one chance. Yes, you can, you can be satisfied if you, if you know you've had a chance to win the frame, John. What you can't really understand when you're driving home is the fact that, well, last frame I never had one chance to see if I could win. Marco's playing across double, really. I mean, the red's not going to go, I don't think, in the pocket, but that's the kind of shot he's playing, just to get a good... Oh, that's an unlucky kiss. He needs a bit of help from the green here. Not only has he got a bit of help, he's got it perfectly. He did play the key well. I'll give him that. Excellent safety shot. He may get a chance next visit. What a snooker that's turned out to be. It's very tough to get to the ball that's over the corner pocket because that's the one he'd like to rest on. But how does he get there? The reds are in the way, the blue's in the way. Well, he's not going to go that way, but... Sometimes off that third cushion, you know the way they slide down? I'd give that one go. I'd give that one go because if he did make contact with that red near the top cushion, it would be safe. I think he's taking your choice, John, as well. I'd just give it one go. And there's the slide that John was talking about. I think, in fairness, it's worth another go, John, that one. Yep, I do. I think he can go a little bit higher. The, the problem that he's worried about is the red that's just near where he's going to hit the second cushion. He's a little bit concerned of making contact with that red. But it was a reasonable line. He just needs a minor adjustment, and he's got to avoid that red we've circled. But he gets such a slide off the third cushion. I like this. I like this. Oh, he's gone wide this time. Marco Foot, four. But he may have it replaced, Marco, if he can't pot this red and get out for the black. Once he'd gone that side of it, he's been fortunate, hasn't he, to left it straight. Marco would have been playing that red if it wasn't straight, as quick as anything. So he's gone one way and he's gone the other. So he knows it's on. Okay. You've just got to get it right. This isn't hard enough, is it? Is it hard enough? By Linamitz. Marco Foo, four. That was the line. Just needs a fraction more pace, but of course, these points away are mounting up and closing the gap. And the only problem is, just for people who don't understand how different cushions are, the harder you play this, the more it will slide off the third cushion. So even though he's got the line perfect, he could play the same line harder and it will slide a little bit more. This is hard enough, surely. This is going to reach. Brilliant shot, well played. Took four attempts, was worth waiting for.
That was such a good shot. It's not a straightforward safety shot for Marco now. The three reds below the pink, I mean, you can hit them very, very thin on the left-hand side, and that's a natural angle to go in behind the brown, but he's playing a different one. Uh, whether he's playing the pot or not, I don't know he's playing the pot. Oh, look at this white. Has it come out and left in the pot? Well, he can get through to it, but it looks virtually straight. He's not even entertaining it. Well, this is a tough one to take on if he decides to take it on because he's only really kind of 60-40 against potting it. And if he misses it, how does he get a good white? It's a relatively straightforward safety shot off the red near the left-hand middle, up and down. This is dangerous. Well, it looked that straight and it looked as playing it with top on. You'd run through enough. He thought he could pinch a bit. He's not left an easy starter for Marco. Marco comes to the table, 21 points behind. Exhale there as. Ding Jun Wei sits there wondering what damage has been done, but Marco with the, the problem of the shot. I always feel with this you've got to. Well, you decide to either fully commit. What he's worried about mainly is the red that's near the left middle pocket. If he tries to pot this red and stay on the black, he could leave that one. He tried to make it into a shot for nothing by stunning round off two cushions. And he's not got away. Well, he's not got away with it. He's left the red closest to the cue ball, but it's not straightforward. I don't blame him there, will he? Not fully committing, but I'd left a bit more angle if I was going to play it like that. Yeah, I don't blame him at all for taking it on, and I think. He can almost play this as a shot to nothing, Ding Zhong Wei. He's going to leave the white down at the other end of the table. He'll be on the brown should it go in, and unless the red hits the top jaw and comes back. That could be the end, that shot. That could be the end. Yes, he's played it well, and he's got a nice angle on the brown. Marco Fu can only sit there now and wonder if his dreams of winning this 888 World Championship have gone. Odds are they have. Terrific match, and as we always say, and you always feel like saying, it's a shame there's got to be a loser. 11. It was a shame in a lot of people's eyes that these two had to meet one another in the first round, but that's the way the draw goes. 12. Well, having said that, he could have played that a little bit better. The pink's the easiest shot now for position, but it's a lot more difficult under the cosh. A bit more pressure on the pink than it would have been on a three-quarter pole blue. Well, if you're ever going to put a little fast one in and twitch it one, this is the one, so he's got to be very careful here. Oh, that 
19. Six feet, used all the pocket, but in it went. I think any harder, that wouldn't have gone in. But it did, 40 points the lead. 45. Red and a colour needed. 24. Red and a black to go 53 points ahead with only 51 remaining. And for Marco, he's put up a great show. 25. It's a match that could have gone either way, twists and turns. He's had a great season, but it looks like it's going to end, end now. To Ding Junhui, he led 5-1. His opponent then won five frames on the trot to put him under pressure. And we all wondered how he would respond. He's going to win 10-9. He could have made it easier on himself. He's made a couple of 40. elementary mistakes this evening to keep... Marco Fu's hopes alive. What's he won? But he's well over the winning line now. was careless but I think he just wants to get back to the dressing room now 56. he'll be absolutely delighted inside 58. just potting the balls out of habit really he's been tested he's been asked questions and he's come up with the answers 61 65 70 76 High quality finish to a high quality match It's a shame it has to be a loser But that's the nature of the game Marco Fu leaves the arena Not head bowed But Ding Jin Wee lives to fight another day he wins the Battle of the East by 10 frames to 9.